Hello everyone, welcome to another video. Today I will be talking about the difference between normal regular function and arrow function. So let's get started. So let's start understanding difference using this value. So if you just simply log this inside your terminal and write node space your file name to run it, you will get one blank object. And if you just run it inside your browser, you will get one window object. Now I am showing you the exact usage of this keyword for showing the difference between the normal regular function and the arrow function. So remove this line and write color equals to suppose white. And now define one function that is get color it will simply return this dot color and if you again log this get color function what it will give inside my terminal it will give this white so let's see see it is giving or logging the result as white so why i am getting get color as white because whenever I am calling this get color function, it is returning this dot color. So here, this is nothing but this global object. So that's why I am easily getting the color as white. So let's see what happens if we use one arrow function. So remove that. Just write const get color and simply return this dot color so now uh, again save it and run it inside your terminal here you can see it is showing undefined so whenever i am calling this get color arrow function inside this get color arrow function it is returning this dot color but in this case this is not the global object so that's why this get color is not getting this color as white so that's why it is giving the result as undefined. Now let's understand one other difference of regular function and one arrow function. So regular function can easily construct objects. I am showing you how we can easily construct object using the regular function. So write function car and receive color here and just set this dot color equals to color and if you try to build one constructor of it that is red car equals to new now i'm passing red to this car function so that it can create one constructor now if i simply log the value of red car let's see what it gives inside my terminal so just write node space script.js to run this script press enter and here you can see it is just giving me the correct result it is creating the instance of car so now you can see by using this new keyword we can easily create one new constructor of the car now let's do it using arrow function so i'm just commenting this first regular function and here i will write const car and it will take the color and simply make the color as the received color now save it again if you just uh, run it on your terminal you can see it is giving one error so if you just notice it is showing car is not a constructor so now it is very clear to you that you can't make any constructor or create any constructor while using one arrow function. Now let's discuss this difference using the arguments keyword. Inside the body of a regular function, argument is special array-like objects containing the list of arguments with which the function has invoked. So let's invoke a new function with two arguments. So write function foo and here I'm just simply logging arguments okay so now if i just pass 
here two characters a or b if i save it and run inside my terminal so now you can see it is giving one special array like objects so now let's try it using one arrow function so write const foo and simply log these arguments and also comment the first regular function and if you just again log it inside your terminal you can see it is not giving me the correct result or the result that you are expecting to be this special array like objects because inside this arrow function we can't actually use this argument for that we need to implement it in a different way now come to the last difference for today's session so in the last difference i'm showing you the implicit return difference between the regular function and the arrow function so write function foo just simply write 42 and then simply console log and call this function now if you save it and run inside your terminal you can see it is giving me the result as undefined because here inside my regular function i need to return it explicitly like so so now if i run this it is giving me the result as 42 whatever i am returning from this foo function now let's try it inside the arrow function so write const foo and simply write 42 now save it and again run this script so here you can see again it is giving me the result as undefined because whenever i am using this expression in a different line i need to explicitly write return for this so if you again run this it will return 42 and you are thinking where is the difference here so i am showing you the difference so whenever i will write this one inside the same line like so and save it and if i just uh, run the script again see it is giving me the 42 so in this case i am not writing this return keyword so it is a new feature of es6 version of javascript when you are writing one expression in one line you don't need to return anything explicitly so whatever you write inside the same line it will just get returned automatically so that's it for today i hope this video has helped you to understand the difference between one regular function and one arrow function so see you in the next one. Thank you.